So the work in the bee yard today is uh, pretty straightforward. Um, going back to the singles we made, we had uh, 400 of them that we made up in California. <clears throat> and we've got them all staged here in our home yard, which makes it really convenient. But uh, what I'm doing is just spot checking, seeing queen acceptance, uh, or rather queen uh, mating success, rather, because these are all cells that we used. Um, and overall, very happy with what I'm seeing and just checking and seeing what ones need doubles because the plan here is to, uh, in the next couple of weeks, uh, two, three weeks, come back and um, split these again. And so, but overall, like here's a, here's a line that I haven't gone down yet. Let's see, that's a pretty good, pretty good split. Still gonna wait to add another box. Um, yeah, decent, decent. Um, the, uh, I, had a, I had a point I was gonna make with this, but I can't remember what it was. Uh, for those, that, you know, a, a really common question that I get is how do I know when to add a second box or a third box, fourth box for that matter, whatever. And what I always say is when you see the box is three quarters full of bees, go ahead and add another one. Uh, as you can see, this one here I'd say is about two thirds. There's still a lot of space in these three frames, and so I'm not going to bother. Uh, I'm not going to bother adding a super right now. But we're going to come back in a week and check the ones that we haven't supered yet, because a little bit of helpful arithmetic to know there's that, that one to use a box is that uh, every frame of brood, capped brood, when it hatches, I can use a box, translates into one or two frames of bees. So every frame of brood translates into two frames of bees once it's hatched. So just some good good math to know. Like, I mean, this here clearly needs a box. We're getting into a pretty good, pretty good run of them here. Just so nice to see the mild, the mild weather already start to start to kick in. It's about time. Box. And so, yeah, that's really the big thing uh, for those of you who have overwintered hives. Uh, definitely want to check them for whether they're wanting to swarm here with this mild weather that we're going to get over the next few days. Uh, that's a dud. Yeah, just flip that over so we know. Um, but uh, yeah, check for swarming. Um, and then we'll uh, maybe do some videos here on what you can do to keep your bees from swarming. Probably the best thing this time of the year is actually just make splits. I, mean, <laughs> I don't care how, how advanced of a beekeeper you are, it is hard to keep these little critters alive nowadays. And, and you know, it really doesn't boil down to anything complicated other than mites, but Keeping ahead of the mites is just become such a ongoing battle. I mean, just never ending battle for that matter. And so that's, but that's, that's really 90, 95% of it, but it's a challenging, <laughs> it's a challenging thing to figure out. And uh, we're to the point now where we treat five times a year and it just seems insane that we're having to treat that much, but it is what it is. Overall, yeah, bees are looking good. Really excited. Hopefully uh, the weather cooperates and we get a really good uh, honey flow here a little later in the season.